hey you guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and as you've noticed on the thumbnail today we're going to be creating three chrome nail designs that i have been dying to recreate now you'll notice i already have some nails on that's because today's video is mainly going to be focused on the nail art now I do want to mention that I created these using some nude poly gel. Unfortunately, I do not have a link for this one. I used my 9C Clip tips to create them and I think they are absolutely stunning and they're going to be the perfect base for the nail art we are about to do. Now enough of the dilly dallying, let's get into the nail art. So I went ahead off camera and applied my Model 1's base coat on all my nails. I didn't want these nails to be very thick. So I went ahead with a layer of base coat and right on top of that, I'm going in with my Model 1's black gel. I really, really love this gel. It works really well. It is creamy, very opaque, and it doesn't bubble at all. ahead and applied just one coat you guys of this color and it is so pigmented look at how stunning that looks so clean so smooth i cannot get enough of this gel it's just amazing next up i'm going in with my pigment powders i do want to show you guys the inspiration picture for this nail set i got this off of pinterest unfortunately i couldn't find the nail artist that created these but i really really love this design and i wanted to show the picture either way Now I'm going in with my pigment powders to create the orange aura that you see on the picture. I really wish I had an orange gel but unfortunately I do not. So instead I'm going to go ahead and do the same technique I did when I created this pink aura set. And if you haven't seen this one I'll go ahead and link it at the end of the video for you guys. But I'm basically using the sponge inside of a chrome pen and I'm dabbing it into the um, pigment powders then rubbing the excess off. And and yeah, I'm starting in the center of the nail. I am making sure that the pigment is more intense there. Then I'll go ahead and try and diffuse it um, towards the outside of the nail. That's creating a nice looking aura or like an ombre effect on the center of the nail. Now I knew that this is not gonna be as intense, but I was very impressed with the results. So I'll go ahead and pretty much do the same on all my nails, just dabbing that orange pigment powder on the center of the nails, making sure that all of them are pretty much in the same sort of like level. Now this is a very very easy technique to do you guys, you can definitely try this out, um, but I do prefer using the blooming gel technique, I just didn't have an orange gel but I love how these turn out. You'll notice I have a little bit of pink on the paper towel, that's because I dabbed a little bit of pink on there just to give a little bit of dimension. After that I'm going in with my non wipe top coat and I noticed as I was applying the top coat um, some of the blue from the um, chrome paint got onto the nail I wasn't mad at it at all and this is the blue that I'm talking about the sponge that I used to create the aura sits on top of this blue and some of it got onto the nail it kind of gave a nice little blue shimmer onto the nails which I really appreciated now I'm going in with my buffing block and I'm choosing to do this technique because again I do not want these nails to be on the thicker side so I'm going ahead and just buffing the shine of the nails. You can go ahead and use matte top coat, it works just as well. After I'm done with that, I'm grabbing my Model 1's top coat. I really love this top coat, you guys. It's more on the thicker side. Um, and when I created a swatch stick using this top coat, I realized that if I cure it at 60 seconds, it gives the chrome such a beautiful shine. So I'm gonna go ahead and create all the nail art using this top coat. 
grabbing my dotting tool I'm putting a dot right in the center of the nail and I'm starting with the stars and these were quite tricky to do I think I underestimated how hard these would be because you want to make sure that all the lines are straight if one is skew it kind of throws the design off so it took me a lot of tries <laughs> to get it perfect but after I'm done with that I went ahead and cure the nail for 60 seconds I'm gonna go ahead with my um, chrome powder I chose to go with the gold chrome powder and I'm rubbing that on with my silicone tool and I found that the silicone tool did such a great job in just helping with the overall shine of the design I went ahead and just grabbed a um, cleanup brush with a little bit of acetone just to remove any excess after I was done with the cleanup, this is how the nail looked. So shiny, you guys. Look how nice that chrome came out. I was so impressed. So I went ahead and did exactly the same for the rest of my nails, just creating the stars, and they came out amazing. Um, yeah, so if you guys are going to do this technique, just remember, check your top coat. And some top coats, they take like 30 seconds, and some, they just need 60 seconds. So it depends on the brand of top coat that you're going to be using. So on the middle nail, I wanted it to have a little bit more detail. So I went ahead and created a crescent moon and some stars and uh, I'm going ahead with that silicone tool again and I'm rubbing vigorously <laughs> and I'm rubbing that on just making sure that I'm getting a nice shine from that chrome and uh, once I was done with that I'm grabbing again my cleanup brush with a little bit of acetone and I'm going around the sides just making sure that I'm removing any excess chrome powder that is in areas that that I do not want it to be. Once I'm done with that, I'm going ahead and uh, taking my non wipe top coat and I'm applying it on all my nails. After that, I went ahead and cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. Once I'm done, now I'm going in with a little bit of cuticle oil and I'm rubbing that into my skin, just moisturizing it after all of that acetone, just making sure that my skin is nice and pretty because um, it always adds like a nice effect to the after pictures. And you guys, this is the final look. I love how these turned out, but wait till you see how they look in the sun. How stunning does that look? I love how these sets turned out. The stars, the aura at the back, the gold, it just all came in together. The black, it's stunning. And if I angle the nail just right, when the sun hits it, some of that blue holographic from that chrome, um, from that blue chrome, it just sparkles so pretty. I hope you guys can see it slightly. Can you see that? So pretty. All right, now it's time to go on to the next set. I went ahead and created some stiletto nails using the exact same poly gel and I wanted to make sure that they are nice and pointy and very feminine and very like elegant and I love how they turned out. Now I'm going to go in with my milky white um, gel uh, and I'm going to be mixing it with this nude because I wanted them to have like a, some sort of pigment on the nails but not too nude but also not too white. I hope that makes sense. So I mixed the two and I came up with this milky nudish color um, which I felt complemented the nails very very well. I went ahead and applied two coats of this color and I cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. And uh, this is how the nails turned out. Again I love how this color just complemented the nails so so well and also complemented my complexion I feel like yeah it just matched and gave such a stunning little nude color after that I went ahead and applied a matte top coat on all the nails just to prepare them for the next step 
now i'm going to go in with my solid clear glue gel and i love this stuff you guys whoever came up with this idea is a genius okay so I'm scooping out a little bit of this gel and you can see it's very hard but at the same time it is soft. Now the first time I saw this um, nail design was from a nail artist on Instagram called charn.nails. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. After that I kept seeing it a lot more on TikTok and everywhere else and I cannot wait to try it. I also saw that uh, V nailed it and Lisette here on YouTube also went ahead and did their own version of this design and they both look absolutely amazing. So you'll notice that I went ahead and rolled out the gel into this nice little worm. <laughs> After that I pick it up and I kind of like drape it onto the nail and place it how I want it. Now I will mention once it touches the surface of the nail it kind of sits there and it'll be, it is very hard to move. So you kind of you want to make sure you know the design that you want to that you want in your head before you start placing it. Um, but I also find that using a silicone tool I was able to move it just a little bit but not too much um, this just allowed me to just taper off the ends and make sure that everything looks nice and elegant and I went ahead and cured in my lamp for 60 seconds and I pretty much did the same for the rest of the nails and this is how they look I think they look great even this way as I've seen some nail um, artists who will just leave it clear and it just looks like pieces of melted glass on top of the nail it is so pretty Now I'm going in with the mixture of the uh, Model 1's top coat with a little bit of the black gel. So the reason for mixing the two gels is because I wanted the shine from the top coat um, whilst getting the intensity from the gel. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I went ahead and started applying this on top of the solid gel design that I have made and you'll notice that I'm only focusing on the top. I'm not really trying to make sure that it gets to the size as much. That's because the solid glue gel does have some tack to it. So even on the areas where the black didn't touch, the chrome will be able to stick. Um, I'm, I'm going ahead and applying it throughout the surface of the um, solid gel. And once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and cure in my lamp for 60 seconds. I also just want to mention that you want to use gloves when you're rolling this gel out. Uh, I just couldn't find any in my area so I went in with my hands. I just made sure that I washed my hands pretty well afterwards. I um, also wanted to mention if I had one of those liquid chrome gels I would have opted to do it that way but again I don't have that product so I came up with my own way to achieve the look without you know without the product basically. After I'm done with that, I went ahead and cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm grabbing my chrome powder and I'm using a makeup applicator to buff it on top of that design. And it looked so nice, you guys. It already just started looking exactly the way I wanted it to. I also wanted to show you guys the design on the thumb. I thought it came out so pretty, kind of looked like a water droplet and I think it looks so so elegant um, and I loved it. Okay, so I went in off camera with a um, clean up brush with a little bit of acetone and uh, cleaned up all the excess chrome and I also just went in and applied top coat just on the areas where I applied chrome on because I wanted to leave these nude.
and now I'm just going ahead and applying some cuticle oil just to moisturize my cuticles and this is the final look for this set I think the pinky is my favorite and the thumb okay all of them are my favorite i just love how they all turn out because the pinky kind of looks like a money clip so cool but this is how they looked outside in the sun i think they look amazing what i love about these designs is they look even better with imperfections on them i love how these turned out i am so happy with the results of the set now on to the last set. For this one I went ahead and created short almond nails and I wanted to do it on the shorter scale just to make it look nice and elegant. Again I went ahead and used the exact same poly gel to create these nails and I love how they, the shape turned out. Now let's get into the nail art. I'm using the exact same mixture of the black gel and the model one's top coat and this is the inspiration picture for this one i also got it on pinterest and again i'm sorry i couldn't find the nail artist for that one So I'm going ahead with the black gel and I'm sort of like uh, mapping out how I want the French line to look and uh, because this one again is a lot of creative freedom and there's no wrong or right way to do this one so you just go with how you want your squiggly lines to look they do not have to be perfect at all which I love because this makes it so beginner friendly anyone can do this design. Now I decided to go in with the solid gel again because I loved how it stays in place and I was also more familiar with, with it and I just love how easy it was to work with. So I went ahead and rolled it out and this time around I made it a little bit thinner because I wanted the lines to be more on the thinner side. Once I'm happy with that I go ahead and place it on top of the black gel basically where I mapped out where I want it to go. And uh, I'm grabbing my, cut my cuticle pusher and this just helps me cut it off because it kind of sticks to your fingers. And once I've laid it on there, I'm going ahead with my silicone tool and just making sure that I'm tapering the ends off and also I'm happy and also I'm just making sure that I'm happy with how it curves and that it just looks more smoother. So I went ahead and did exactly the same for the rest of my nails and then I added some pearls just to add a bit of texture and a little bit of something, you know, something different. And now I'm going in with that same mixture of black gel and top coat. Now I'm going to be applying this and creating my French, um, my, my wiggly French. Now I'm going to be going in and just filling up where the back of the French. Man, I hope this makes sense, but I'm sure you guys see what I mean. And I'm just applying it, making sure that I'm also applying it on top of that solid glue um, wiggly line. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. And and um, yeah, after I'm done with that, I go ahead and cure in my lamp for 60 seconds.
then um, I decided to go with the blue chrome powder for this design. I was going back and forth between the purple and the blue, but I decided to go for the blue. And I was so happy with this decision because I just feel like the blue was just absolutely stunning. And I also noticed while I was rubbing it on that it kind of has like a holographic effect on it, onto it, and which made me fall in love with it more. So after I'm done with that, I'll go ahead with a cleaner brush with a little bit of acetone and I try to remove some of the blue that got, some of the chrome that got onto the um, other side of the nail, that got onto the um, opposite side of the nail and this one was kind of hard to clean. Um, I kind of wish that I'd buffed the nail instead of using a matte top coat. But I went ahead and continued with the chrome application and again I'm using the makeup sponge the makeup applicator to apply this and it went on very very well and it was nice and shiny and neat I decided to use a q-tip just to clean up and it worked really well actually um, I just added a little bit of acetone on it and then I went ahead and started rubbing and it pretty much removed most of that blue chrome and then finally I'm going in with my non wipe top coat just to make sure that I'm protecting that chrome as much as possible because it will rub off if yeah there are some spots that aren't properly covered so I took my time and then I went in with my liner brush just to make sure that it isn't sitting on one spot make sure that everything is evenly coated after that I cured my lamp for 60 seconds then I'm finishing the nails off with my um, cuticle oil just making sure my cuticles are moisturized as always and you guys this is the final look I love these nails okay I know I said that about all the nails but each of them just turned out so well and the blue oh so stunning let's check it out outside look at how pretty that looks you guys and you can really pick up on the holographic of that blue chrome powder it is so so pretty I love this set I couldn't stop I couldn't stop looking at it in the sunlight I think it came out so so cute overall I had such an amazing time recreating these nail sets and just like that you guys we have reached the end of the video please let me know down below which of the three is your favorite um i won't say which one is mine because i don't want to you know influence your <laughs> i don't want to influence your choice um please go ahead and click the like button if you like the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll definitely catch you guys on the next video um yeah hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are bye guys